Turn the full chair. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's lovely. All I need is a recliner. I mean, an ottoman. We didn't even need our chairs. Oh man, all that weight for nothing. So here we are. That was Martin and Kelly Lakes on the lonely north perimeter of the Sawtooth Mountains, just outside the Sawtooth Wilderness in the Sawtooth National Forest. What you just saw was a 9.2 mile out and back trip. We gained about a thousand feet to get there. What really made this hike stand out was the solitude that we got out of it. Because it's on the northern perimeter of the mountains, because it's a little bit outside the wilderness, there is no one at these lakes. People tend to congregate towards the more popular lakes in the heart of the Sawtooth Wilderness. So if you're looking for a great getaway, a little quick out and back, something more remote, something more unseen, then Martin and Kelly Lakes is a good trip for you. The trailhead is marked, but it's a little bit difficult to find. It's about 12 miles outside of Stanley on Highway 21 at Forest Road 199. It's called Forest Road 199 because it's at mile 199. If you find that mile marker, then you can just follow the road about a half mile up to the trailhead. Now, we weren't totally alone on the trail. We actually saw quite a few mountain bikers. The trail to Martin Lake is open to mountain bikers and it's a pretty nice ride. So if you're interested in taking a mountain bike, the trip to Martin Lake is great. 3.6 miles into your hike, you'll come across Martin Lake makes for a really good day hike and there are camping spots there though if you are looking to backpack I recommend going all the way to Kelly. Martin Lake sees a lot more traffic while we were sitting there we saw a few mountain bikers people stop but it seems like Martin Lake is the farthest people go it's less than a mile further to Kelly Lake but because there's a 300 foot elevation gain it's kind of steep in there and mountain bikers kind of struggle with it Day hikers see the first lake, don't really want to continue more. So you get a lot more solitude at Kelly and 
There are quite a few fish in that lake, though they were tough to catch. They are smart. Uh, apparently people have been fishing for them, but I definitely recommend throwing a line in if you get there. And if you continue around on Kelly Lake on the western perimeter, you'll find that superb campsite the chairs and the tables and the fireplace that was built out of rock by, I have no idea, but that's, it's really cool. There is a third lake that you can continue on to called Elizabeth Lake. It's another mile and a half from Kelly Lake and you'll gain about 500 feet of elevation over a divide and come down another 250 feet to the lake. We decided to not go to Elizabeth Lake just because we had read that the best camping was at Kelly Lake. And in the morning we had somewhere else to be so we didn't go there. But of course you can go for a day hike from Kelly Lake to Elizabeth or continue on Elizabeth Lake and backpack. Now, I said I read about it. I used, once again, a Scott Marchant book, Idaho Sawtooth Country. I used hike number 18 to help plan my trip. I will leave a link in the description to this book down below. And you're probably thinking to yourself, do you only use Scott Marchant's books to plan hikes? Well, no. I have quite a few hiking books uh, that I've collected in my three years of backpacking. Scott Marchant is a few of them and he's the best one in this area and that's where I've been hiking. So for now, we're still using Scott Marchant's books. Let's just take a quick look at the map and I'll show you what the route looks like. So it's really simple. Right over here is Highway 21. Right here is the trailhead and parking. It'll be a pretty nice, even hike past a few meadows, some wildflowers, all the way up to Martin Lake. There is a trail right here that it looks like the mountain bikers were using. It creates some sort of loop, if you want to do more research into that. From Martin Lake that you can see is at 7,500 feet. It's just a quick stroll up to Kelly Lake at 7,800 feet, so you will have some elevation gain there. The campsite that we stayed at is just around this way and right here, up against the rock wall of the Sawtooth. And if you'd like to continue to Elizabeth Lake, you will hike from Kelly Lake up over this divide right here, all the way to Elizabeth Lake. But again, we did not go to Elizabeth Lake because we had another adventure to get to. We were heading to Kramer Lakes in the heart of the Sawtooth Wilderness, and that will be next week's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.